Hello, this is Bob Manger, and today we will talk about your higher self. Your higher self is another dimension, or another aspect, or another extension of who you are. It is the part of you that is connected to divinity, if you will. It is the part of you that is multidimensional in nature, that goes beyond or transcends your physical body and your five senses. To explain further, Imagine you're walking along a park or city street and you see your shadow. Now the next time you see your shadow, stop, look at it, contemplate it. Because your shadow is an extension of who you are. Every movement that you make, it copies it. But your shadow is two-dimensional. Your shadow is very limited. It's flat. It has no sensory systems. It is not aware of you, but you are aware of it. But your shadow itself is very limited. It has no knowledge, no experience whatsoever. But nevertheless, it is still part of who you are. Now the shadow itself is unaware of you as an individual. So you are an advanced version, if you will, of your shadow you have the capacity to think, to imagine, to do. You have the five senses to see, to touch, to taste, to smell, and to hear. Your shadow does not have that capacity. But when you think about yourself as a human being, you don't realize that you are in some way like your shadow. You don't realize that there is another dimension to you that is beyond your five senses. In other words, there's a higher self that's looking down upon you right now. That is within you. That is an extension. You are an extension of your higher self, of your divine self, of your divine consciousness. The consciousness that is connected to all things and the consciousness that is connected to the entire universe. That higher self is multidimensional. It is beyond the five senses. And this is your higher truth as well. So in spirituality, when we say that we are connected or not connected, meaning we have this separation identity, we have this feeling that we are alone, that we are just this human body, and that's all. But this is an error. This is very much like the shadow thinking that it's alone. That there's no human being creating the shadow. So just as your physical body creates a shadow, there's a higher self with you that's creating you. And you're creating your shadow. And as you advance to higher and higher levels of consciousness, you begin to recognize this higher self within you. That you are not limited, you are not confined only to your material existence. You are not confined only to your five senses. This is why sometimes you will experience things like intuition, where you have an idea and you're not sure where it came from. Have you ever thought of that? When you get a really good idea, where did it come from? Sometimes it just comes up spontaneously, out of nowhere, as they say. Or sometimes you get a thought or a creative expression and you say, it seems like it came out of thin air. This is exactly what spirit is. It comes out of thin air, so to speak. So always keeping in mind, let your shadow be your reminder that you are the higher version of your shadow. But also, there is a higher version to you as well. And as you contemplate that, as you make that part of your regular focus, your consciousness itself will shift. Your fears, your doubts, your insecurities, in fact your entire perspective of reality will begin to shift. So to simply note for yourself that there is a higher level to who you think you are right now. That who you think you are at this moment is not all there is. And this higher self is your main purpose in life. 
is to make contact to realize your higher self. Because as you begin to break the veil, if you will, the curtain between you and your higher self, this is the true spiritual work. Learning to crack through that barrier, that veil, or that curtain. Because you are under the illusion that you are a physical body and that's all. Just like the shadow is under the illusion that it's only a shadow and there's nothing else. So let this be a reminder for you that when you go into meditation, when you go into contemplation of these ideas, going beyond the five senses or the three-dimensional thinking, your world will open for you in newer and greater ways. Thank you.